Hello my soccer universe to another collection video, this time from La Liga. We're looking at the 16-17 season, wearing the Atleti shirt from that season and it will be this Via Real jersey that we'll look into a little bit closer. It's actually the first Homa shirt for Via Real and it's actually quite an interesting one. Overall it is of course in the typical yellow submarine style. But we'll look at this shirt closer in just a little bit first. How did this end up in my collection? Well, um, you know, it was in 21 when I tried to expand my collection a teeny bit, uh, a teeny bit, a lot, um, and especially the La Liga Coraco collection because I had only the, you know, the normal big hitters in there. But it was always, yeah, Villarreal will be a team that sooner or later I will need to get in. Although I'm, I was never so sure because uh, on one side Villarreal have been doing quite some damage if you like in europe on the other side they are actually from a really small town and uh there was always the thought yeah are they big enough to warrant well they made a run to eventually win the europa league in the final against manchester united still one of the craziest penalty shoes reels that i can remember and in that run-up it became really really clear to me i need Villarreal real because they at least for the semifinals, the one I have for every semifinal at least, uh, uh, shirt. And so the scramble came and VRL jerseys are not an easy find here in Austria. Absolutely not. I saw a little bit, you know, on Spanish websites, yes, either you pay big shipping or uh, it's kind of sketchy. And so I went then to eBay and I didn't know it back then. Now I know the seller, House of Football, had this shirt up there for a rather reasonable price. Well, I say slightly above 30 euros and I said okay let's get that one it came a little bit later my wife still claims that the color is a little bit off but hey I have a Villarreal jersey and that's all that it needed to be and I'm quite pleased to have it I would love to have an away jersey as well and so on but that's for later so let's have a little bit a closer look at this admittedly i mean at first it's your basic via real jersey but if you look a little bit closer there are quite some nice details in there that homer has put there first off the tag says it's a double xl and yes for homer you need to size up most of the, of the time and while uh, from a distance it's quite a simple shirt if you go a little bit closer, and I think you see it also in the unpacking video, there's a, a, the color here has a very interesting insert here, but there's also this, and it's only on, on the top, and it reminds me a bit of the Italy 2013 Confederation Cups jersey, this kind of V pattern, very shallow V pattern that actually then gets broken up here as well. Uh, it's also sort of repeated within the crest, and I'm really not sure if the camera will pick, pick this up, but there's a very, very, subtle um, pattering within the crest as, as well, with, which, which I think is really, really cool. Other than that, it has the Pamesa Keramica sponsor, which is now more or less synonymous with Villarreal. The Homa is still as a word mark um, in the dark navy blue. We have just a dark navy blue outline. It says Villarreal in there. Another thing that I didn't realize until I made this channel that there is a double R in Villarreal because I would have only written this with one R but hey it's two R's so be it. Maybe the one weird thing about this template is this shoulder here. It looks like there's a cape going. Fortunately it's not differently colored so this is a case where you have a template that might not look, look as nice but if you have it all unicolored it actually looks fine. And then we have this huge patch here for ventilation. Uh, what I really like about uh, Homer shirts uh, is that they have on the inside, on the tail, they have usually, I'm saying, uh, so here it's Endavant and the Villarreal logo. I think this is a really, really nice touch. We have all the tags that come with it are on here as well. And then, yeah, we have official product by Homer and uh, the Dry MX system, whatever this might be. On the back it is a blank. We have VRL CF from the crest, so this is VCF, same thing as from here. Uh, the crown is actually quite nice, I have to say, but other than that, it's a total blank. There's nothing on there. The one thing that is on there, and I love La Liga shirts for, for that, is you get most of the time the patch coming with it. And this was back then a really big patch. And I think I have it also on that. Oh, on the Atleti shirt, it's actually considerably smaller. This is an L, this is a double XL, maybe it has something to do with that, but we have the patch on here, so 
looking rather good. It's all nicely stitched. I actually prefer it this way uh, that it's stitched on because it's more durable. Although uh, this threading, if you're a little bit, if you're not too careful, careful this might come. Cockham blues and have some unsightly threads. But yeah, unfortunately, this La Liga logo is a little bit a thing of the past. Not that it was perfect, but we got used to it in a way. Now the season for Villarreal was a so and so one. They finished fifth in La Liga, so meaning they qualified for the, for the Europa League after having actually played Champions League qualification where they fell flat against um, Monaco on a 3-1 on aggregate. Uh, they then were, went to the Europa League where they finished second in the group and then were ousted by Roma there as well. So, you know, kind of, um, I think it's still a good, good, good season for a small team like Villarreal. So, uh, again, European commitment, but it did not end up in the Champions League. Some notable players were actually, I think I saw Rodri uh, was playing for Villarreal, not 100%. I mean, for me, it's Samuel Castillejo is probably the, uh, as a former Milan player, that, that, that sticks out the most. Other interesting players, of course, uh, Cherishev, we had uh, Bonera, an Italian. We had another former million player in Matteo Musacchio. Uh, so, you know, interesting team for sure. Uh, and I will also uh, Boré, uh, the Colombian strike striker that uh, scored for Frankfurt in the Europa League final um, in 22 was also in there. So yeah, that's so far my only VRL shirt. As I said, I would love to have an away jersey. Ideally, it would be a straight reversal, like a navy uh, jer uh, jersey with yellow accents, although they have not been using that as of late. Uh, VRL is actually quite creative with away jerseys, I got. Like I said, there are many, many crazy colors in there. But as a home jersey, it literally does the job. It is all that I want in a VRL jer jersey. No, nothing crazy, nothing outstanding, but it does. it is a VRL jersey. Everyone will recognize it as such. So, let me know what you think about this one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.